I want to ask you one question. Do you like it when someone say lie to you? Put up your hands if you appreciate when someone lied to you. Great. <coughs> when I was studying uh, in the seventh grade, one of the topic was finding the square roots from rational numbers. And our school books say that it's impossible to do with negative one. But a few months later, I discovered the idea of complex numbers, which allows me not only to search every even re square root from any negative Russian number, but even more, to describe our three-dimensional world in an institutional way. So, what we got? People who say they want me to know the truth, lie to me. Okay, but consider this. How often do we conduct with the lie in our usual life, in our usual day? How, what we accept is face value. If school lies to us, then other will lie every day and everywhere. But can we accept that and can we do something with that? Because, you know, every falsehood has its price. For one time, it can cost you an argument with your friend or wasted money. But other time at stake will be your health or in life. Let's come back to the school, the example I started with. Does, I, I asked myself, does, uh, would my life really change if I don't know about uh, complex numbers? I don't think so. However, now I need them for some calculations. I would get it because I need it. Uh, what I'm trying to say, school giving us the ground that is aimed at serving us in the future, like a basic setting again to start developing. We get it to developing the future. So school don't lie to us, vice versa. It makes some information easier, makes some simplification. So we get the information, otherwise we just don't get it. Um, I'm a participant of chemistry Olympians for four years straight and I love this beautiful science thanks to people who is teaching me. And I love it because I see much more than the school actually can show. And uh, I really aware that you need to study it, you need it in the future, because especially, especially if you don't want to live in a lie. Uh, for the first time, it's quite strange how like uh, the connection between chemistry and lie. I have few examples that will qualify what I mean. Once, when I was preparing my project, I saw inverters on the internet. Water saturated with hydrogen. Mistake, I thought, but unfortunately it was correct. Some smart phrases about health benefits and why you should buy it. The brightest example actually I can remember, but uh, it's, but if you think, it's really an unsilly idea. But people sell and recommend it to buy it. Just about biological and chemical reason why it would work. Our organism isn't able to consume hydrogen as a gas. And the amount of it that can be dissolved in water per liter at standard position is too low. So no sense at all. So. A little bit of rational thinking and using some boxes where your brain collect uh, chemistry lesson about polar and non-polar molecules will prevent you from such mistakes. No wasted money, no challenges, no problems. You just need to think. Remember that. Uh, let's move on. Uh, I've got one more interesting example that will clarify what I mean. Many people really think that time actually exists, 
but in reality, capitalists come up with the idea of time just to sell more clocks. You need to laugh at this moment. But <laughs> uh, no, don't, don't worry, it was a joke actually. Uh, it was not capitalists, it was other guys. Um, okay, please uh, look at these uh, words. Hydrogen monoxide. Seems to be strange, yeah? Name is so complicated. I bet uh, this one of the chemicals which is using in the fields. And guess what? Not only in the fields, uh, it's added to almost everything we eat or buy. Researchers show that almost, uh, no, even, even uh, this happens when it contacts the metal. Imagine what will happen when it gets in your stomach. Researchers show that all sea, oceans, lakes, rivers, and other one contains dead and wheat. So, while we are sitting, we need to do something with it right now. We need to rush and do something. Like, we don't know what will happen with our effect and how it affects our organism. But before you are rushing to tweet this, uh, please look at this picture. The hydrogen monoxide, or more famous as H2O. It's a little bit disturbing how the usual water can become a reason to worry. What I'm trying to say is that the world around us is so difficult, so complicated, and the idea I truly believe in that chemistry, no, actually science in general, can help us when you're trying to think critically and analyze information. I just want people not to live in a lie. I've got uh, some experience and due to it I want to give you some useful tips how to teach and learning. Like the last one I want to show you before the organizers will take me out of this scene using a long braille is about learning and teaching. Uh, my tips are concentrated on the experience I've got from my Olympiads. So, the first one is for teachers. First of all, uh, the task of every teacher is to understand that not everyone wants to become a chemist and actually not everyone needs to, to many roles for me. Um, to get into their minds, you need to focus on some practical or emotional moments. Try to present every topic in use, like in real life. I've got a really interesting example, like connect the NMR spectroscopy and the MRI. Like it, it's best a way to how to explain how it's work. Many people are consider and worry about that. Topic about carboxyl derivatives and their acid, like perfect. Tell about aspirin. Uh, big scientific discoveries are now only possible with work of many scientists from different fields. So, collaborate with other subjects like biology and physics to show the relationship between them. And uh, don't miss ever something, if it's understandable, because for someone it's not. Remember that you need to make it as easy as possible, but make sure it stays true. And please, uh, don't use this. Except, use this. It's much more better. No, not, not so depressed, yeah? Uh, so, I see a long umbrella for our presenter. So, the last one is for you who are studying or going to. I can honestly say the truth. It don't be so easy and you feel a little bit of pain. And uh, you won't get complex here in front of the first, second, even ten times around. So, all you need is to soft tanks and move on. One time, the bump into your light, in your head will light up and you will understand something. But before you need to solve tasks, questions, problems, not only serious actually, because chemistry, you need to know how to use chemistry. Our life is important and practical part, so you need to understand what you're doing. And uh, remember, never give up even if it's starting your equation. Um, not to forget, chemistry is a practical science and it would be great if work in a lab is possible, especially if it gets some practical tasks, because making even some primitive experiments is really important. 
but the problem is not all have access to region. Then remember that everything around us is chemistry. Uh, some usual things can become new if you show them the right angle. So live life like wonders are everywhere and show them to others. Think critically and analyze information. Remember, people make mistakes, even famous and relatable ones. So look for facts, not for words or emotion. I hope that changed your life a little bit. Oh, not to forget, never pull water into acid. That's all, thank you.